welcome to my kitchen. I am so happy that your path has led you here where the magic of baking meets the power of the metaphysical. Today, we're going to be making some strawberry buttercream. So if your hair is down like mine, let's tie it back, you know, spells and such. And let's grab those aprons and get started. Here we go. And we're ready. For this recipe, you will need one and a half cups of butter, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, six cups or 720 grams of powdered sugar, six tablespoons of freshly pureed strawberries, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. You may also choose to add some little pearls and red or pink food coloring of your choice. Now let's get started. This frosting is for my strawberry cupcakes that I made the other day for my beautiful sweet granddaughter's seventh birthday. Happy birthday, Zoe. So now we're gonna make the frosting for it. So let's start by whipping up our butter. We have the handy dandy KitchenAid cauldron. Let's add and attach the paddle attachment to it. And drop in one and a half cups of butter. That is three sticks, just counting like that. All right, here we go. It's time to stop and scrape down our bowl. Today is a warm day, so it did not take very long for my butter to come to room temperature. Room temperature is always best. Yours is coming straight out of the, the refrigerator. You should have microwaved it just a little bit before it got started. Let's keep going. Okay, we're done with that part. Let's give our bowl a little scrape before we're moving on. All right. All right, now we're gonna measure out our um, powdered sugar. So grab yourself a bowl and to make sure we get an accurate, accurate amount, we are going to weigh it out. We need some of these. We need our kitchen scissors over here. How's everybody's day been? Spring is approaching. It's almost here. I know it seems the, the flowers have started to bud, but I am afraid to put my plants outside just yet. Yeah, I'm afraid of that mid-March frost. You know, the one that just sneaks up on you. <laughs> I like to sift my powdered sugar to get any like powdered sugar clumps that are in there out making a last snow with powdered sugar is always nice. <laughs> this is a lot of powdered sugar. We're going to use nearly this whole bag. I meant to make the frosting the same day that I made the cupcakes, but um, unfortunately, when I went to my pantry, no powdered sugar to be found. So I had to wait until we went to the store. And now we're going to get this done and frost those cupcakes. <laughs> They've been over there patiently waiting. I've had one though without uh, any frosting and it was still delicious. All right, almost done. The wildflowers are starting to pop up. I've noticed some buds on the tree. My weeping willow is starting to get some buds. I'm always happy to see the willow come back because it's when it blows in the wind, it is so beautiful. It's like the tree is dancing. So I love my willow tree. All right, we are done sifting our powdered sugar. Let's 
set our scale aside, clean up our mess because you know I always make one. <laughs> all right, so let's add some of our powdered sugar. I'm not going to add it all because, you know, it's about to explode if we do. So let's add some and start incorporating it slowly. <laughs> All right, let's scrape down the sides of the bowl, scraping always. Do you hear Sir Bella outside? She went outside less than five minutes ago, I'm telling you. She's going to stay out there a little while. It's a beautiful day. She has not been outside in about, I don't know, four days. So she can stay outside a little while. All right. Look, making more of a mess. So on stir. We don't want an explosion. Get with the handy dandy kitchen egg cauldron. Get it all mixed up. You know what we can do? Pray over anything. But that doesn't stop us from doing it now. <laughs> I was in such a hurry to get these done. I forgot to even put any intention into it. So here we go. <laughs> I bless and charge this butter and sugar so that it may bring happiness and joy to all those who eat these cupcakes. Let their hearts be light and filled with laughter. I call upon the guardians of the north, the south, the east, and the west. I also ask for assistance of my guardians, guides, and ancestors, and the blessing of the Lord and Lady. So let it be. <laughs> See, it's never too late. You forget something, it's okay. It's all right. You can remember later. <laughs> all right, let's add the rest of our powdered sugar into our, our KitchenAid cauldron there. And let's turn it on low. This is the stir setting. Let's Clean up our mess. Speaking of messes. I'm sure I have said this before and I will say it again. If you are having bad luck, if the energy in your home is bad, if your house is cluttered, your rooms are a mess, the shelves are dusty, the dishes need to be done. Clean, clean, clean. The best way to renew, lighten, and get rid of that negative energy is to shake it up and sweep it out. All right, let's turn this on high. looking nice and light and fluffy. Do you like fluffy? All right, get that bowl, all that goodness off the side so it can all incorporate into our frosting. I was talking about spring earlier, spring allergies. <laughs> that has also come back. All right, let's bless and charge our vanilla. I bless and charge this vanilla so it may uplift all those who eat these cupcakes. 
May it bring flavor and joy to the lives of each and every one of them. I call upon the guardians of the north, the south, the east, and the west. I also ask for assistance on my guardians, guides, and ancestors, and the blessing of the Lord and Lady. So let it be. And into the cauldron it goes. <laughs> All right. And let's turn that back. Turn the cauldron back on. See you in a minute. All right. We're about to bless the salt, and you might be thinking, salt, frosting, doesn't go. Yes, it does. <laughs> salt gives things flavor. It uplifts it, brings that flavor to the surface. So let's add a little bit of salt. Now, if you used salted butter, you're going to want to cut down to an eighth of a teaspoon. I used unsalted, so I'm putting in a quarter of a teaspoon. So let's bless it. I bless and charge the salt so it may work with the other ingredients in, in this frosting to bring joy and laughter to all those hearts that eat these cupcakes. I call upon the guardians of the north, the south, the east, and the west. I also ask for assistance on my guardians, guides, and ancestors, and the blessing of the Lord and Lady. So let it be. And into the cauldron it goes. Let's give it a little scrape down. And we're going to mix that in. I am dying to get outside and uh, start doing some gardening. I'll do some cleanup, but I really want to do some planting. But I know that March frost is going to get us. <laughs> turn that cauldron back on. All right, my pretties. Now we're going to make the strawberry puree. We're going to take our strawberries and just cut off the tops there and just give it a quick chop and put it in our bowl. Top, quick chop into the bowl. We got two more to do. These strawberries this year are so sweet. I made a chocolate cake the other day and added the strawberries just on top. Um, oh, it was so good. <laughs> so good. All right, into the bowl. Move this aside. Let's put that behind us. Now we're going to take our handy dandy. KitchenAid uh, Immersion Blender or Handheld Cauldron and we're going to mince up these uh, strawberries. <laughs> the smell of strawberries reminds me of being six years old. I don't know why six is such a prominent number in my mind when it comes to strawberries, but uh, I just I guess it's that innocence. Okay, so we're slowly adding this the strawberry puree in here. And it's going to tint your buttercream a very light, light pink. Not even baby girl pink, lighter than that. A very delicate pink. So you want it darker. You're, you can add more food coloring like I'm going to do. And I'm also going to do something else. Let's stop and scrape down the bowl because we want to make sure we get those strawberries all mixed in with the buttercream. You see that? A very light pink, very delicate pink. Where my delicate sweet zip. <laughs> Mix that up just a little. 
we'll be right back. All right, all mixed up. And while you were away, I cut off a piece of plastic wrap. Now you do not have to do this section. You can just take this beautiful, light, delicate pink frosting and just frost your cupcakes. Or you can do what I do. I'm going to just add this to the plastic wrap. more and we are going to just roll that up try to get any air bubbles that are in there out and we're going to set that aside and to grab another thing of plastic wrap now you don't have to do this part you can actually just put it into the piping bag in separate sections but I'm messy <laughs> and it's always a mess. So I do it like this. See how pretty light, just faintly pink that is. So pretty. Now we're just going to add just a couple of drops. Let's get the rubber spatula out of there first. Yeah, I told you I'm messy. <laughs> Set that aside and add now a couple of drops of our pink food coloring. And let's get that mixed up. Look how pretty and pink that is. Now let's add that into some plastic wrap. Okay, let's add some pink to the plastic wrap. Let's... I just have a feeling. <laughs> add one more scoop. Nice, pretty pink. in honor of my sweet Zoe's seventh birthday. Now, you can stop here or you can go on. And since it's the lucky number seven, let's go on. So now we are going to add some red food coloring to just give it a little more fun. Here we go. Just a drop or two. To Probably a little more than a drop. Let's turn on the handy dandy kitchen and cold to get that all mixed up. Okay, and we're done mixing in colors. Now more surprises. All right, so let's set that down. Set this over here. Give this one more whip around the bowl all right so another piece of plastic as i fight with the plastic <laughs> okay let's spread it out some in. All right, set that aside. And I'm going to grab this up. <clears throat> and there's our three shades of pink from very light, delicate pink to a baby girl pink to a very fun pink. All right, let's put this in a piping bag and get started. All right, so I am using a Russian squirrel tip. 
because I really like the design that it makes. I usually use the the Russian flower tip on this one, but on these cupcakes. But today I decided I'm going to use this one instead. So cut it. Put it in the bag. Since it's so warm today, I am going to pop the buttercream into the refrigerator for about five minutes to let it kind of harden up again. And then we'll get started decorating those cupcakes. All right, I have all three of the plastic film bags in my piping bag. And I'm just going to start squeezing until I see all the colors. And I see all the colors. All right, so touch the cupcake. Squeeze and lift. Isn't that pretty? Touch down on the cupcake. Squeeze and lift. Now, now you can also put it on a cake stand. Touch down. A little hard to do one-handed but as you you're pressing out swirl it around and up like that let's try another one tighten up your bag press the down touching and then let it swirl all the way up. Oh, doesn't that look beautiful? <laughs> One more. Touch down. Let me tighten up the bag. Touch down and spin all the way up. Oh, look at those. <laughs> Which are your favorite? The swirls are the ribbons. You can even see the little chunks of fresh strawberries in there. Oh, whoever eats these cupcakes are going to love them. Now optional, you could take some little pearls and just top them off, make them as delicate as the sweet girl that these were inspired by. Until our paths cross again, my friend. Bye-bye.